Whether you have a diagnosis or not, I don't care. Jump inside this podcast and I'm going to teach you how to read your own blood work so you can find the answers to your health concerns. Yes, those normal labs that your doctor keeps saying, oh, they look great. We'll see you again in six months. They really have answers in them if you know how to read it correctly. So come join me along this journey, leave a review and share with your friends. Let's dive in. What health coaching certification program do I recommend? I get this question asked all the time. Well, I've finally vetted them out. And the one program that outshines all others is Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, or FDN. There are three reasons why. One, it's very clinically based and teaches labs. I myself turned down a master's degree in functional medicine because it didn't teach labs. Two, you have lifetime access and it always gets updated. This is important because things change and you need to be in the know. Three, when you complete the training on your timeline, they have an incredible post-grad community. So they don't just kick you out on the streets and say, good luck. If you've been thinking about receiving your health coaching certification or are a practitioner looking to branch out and scale a virtual practice, now is the time. Make 2023 your year. Do this for you your family, and those you're about to help. Go to fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie. Check the show notes for a $250 off code available for a limited time. I am happy to announce that I have partnered with Functional Diagnostic Nutrition because I love their program so much. They are now the podcast sponsor. All right, let's get into the podcast episode. Here we go. Welcome to the Beyond the Diagnosis podcast with your host, Dr. Kylie. I have a fellow doctor who's also a redhead. Hers is a lot more vibrant than mine, but we're nonetheless, we are redheads together. Dr. Jen Simmons is the founder of Real Health MD. She was a cancer surgeon for 17 years, got introduced to functional medicine, and has never looked back since. She's based in Philadelphia, but 100% virtual. So if you would like to work with her, go to realhealthmd.com. Today, we're going to talk about five easy shifts up leveling your health. However, I want to know how she got introduced from cancer to FM. Dr. Jen, welcome on. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I've been really excited about this conversation. So yeah, my story is... I. You know, everyone comes into medicine for a reason, right? So originally, I have a first cousin who was a singer-songwriter in the 1970s, 1980s. She wrote all the music for the spinners and the stylistics. Um, you're probably too young to I know wasn't what that born is. Then. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but her most famous song was The Greatest Love of All. Yes, do you know I that do. One? Okay. So she wrote that in 1977 as the title track to the movie The Greatest starring Muhammad Ali. But it really got its acclaim when Whitney Houston re-released uh-huh. it in March of 1986. And at that time, it would spend 14 weeks at the top of the charts. But Linda would never know that because she died of metastatic breast cancer just one month after Whitney released that oh song. Oh, my gosh. That's not what I thought you were going to go so, with that story. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, she was my first cousin. She was literally a rock star. And I'm 16 years old. And she dies. So I do the only thing that I know how to do in order to not have other women, families, et cetera, experience what my family went through. So I go to medical school. I become a doctor. I'm the first fellowship trained breast surgeon in Philadelphia. And, you know, I, my mission in life is to save women from dying from breast cancer. So I'm at the top of my game, like doing the innovative things that no one else is doing. And I'm a a workaholic, a perfectionist, running the cancer program for my hospital, a wife, a mother, a stepmother, an athlete, a philanthropist. Like I have all these balls in the air thinking that I'm invincible. And like one day out of nowhere, I get diagnosed with Graves' disease and I lose my health entirely. So Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease of the thyroid. It's treated just like thyroid cancer because it's life-threatening. And so I'm sitting there in the office of the endocrinologist, who is my friend and colleague and all of that. And he's telling me that 
I need to have surgery and radiation and lifelong hormone replacement. And I feel like I'm in Charlie Brown's teacher's classroom. Like, wah, 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 wah. Like, I'm having this crazy out-of-body experience in total appreciation of the fact that these are things that I counsel people to do every single day without hesitation or reservation. But when it's suggested at me, I'm like, wait a minute, there has to be another way. So I go on this journey to heal myself and I learn about functional medicine. So I'm in, I enroll in the Institute for Integrative Nutrition because Physicians, MDs especially, know like nothing about nutrition because we're not taught anything about nutrition and we are made to believe that nutrition is not important because if it were important, it would be part of our curriculum, which it's not. So I'm sitting there in a lecture at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and a man named Mark Hyman comes on stage. Dun, dun, dun. And Dun, dun, dun. So he introduces himself as a functional medicine physician. Here's my snooty booty MD self. Like, yeah, there's no such thing as a functional medicine physician. But I decide I'm going to check my ego at the door and listen up. And within five minutes of this man talking, my whole world made sense. And I knew why I got sick. I got sick so that I could be in that seat on that day to listen to this man because this is my life's mission. Because I had spent all of my career, all of my life really in the breast cancer space focused on the tumor, but the tumor's not the problem. The tumor's the symptom. And just staying in that system of managing symptoms and focusing on symptoms and you know that what we focus on grows. So I was really only perpetuating cancer because that's where I was focused. Oh my gosh, that is so powerful. And so what you focus on grows. I, I took a step back and I said, like, what, what am I really trying to do? What am I really trying to solve? What is the problem that I'm trying to solve? And the problem that I'm trying to solve is, like, I don't want people to have disease. It doesn't matter what sign they carry, Right. Because it's all disease. And so how can I help people to be healthy? What can I do to help people promote their health so that if they have disease, it reverses? Or they could just avoid getting the disease entirely. And so I walked away from my surgical position. Actually, most people thought that I like lost my skills or, you know, was crazy or, you know, suddenly stupid or who knows. Um, but I left my position as a surgeon and I opened up Real Health MD, which is a functional medicine practice geared at helping the person at any stage in the breast cancer journey to restore their health and then optimize their health. So you're still focusing on the target audience that you love and you first started with. Now you're taking a completely different approach. I am. I am. And so I also see people for autoimmune disease because people hear my story and it resonates with them. And so um, I, I pretty much help anyone that that wants my help and is willing to do the work because we, we all know that change is scary and hard, but it's the hard that makes it good. When you did your changes, what besides the fuel, the fire from within... What gave you the courage to walk away? Yeah, it was totally terrifying. I would have put an expletive in the middle <laughs> there, but I don't know how you feel about that. Um, so it was totally terrifying. Um, but, you know, this whole journey was about me learning for myself that we can all do hard things. And if we're not growing, if we're not pushing ourselves, if we're, if we're not moving forward, you know, the, the alternative is that we're dying. And I wasn't ready to do that. And I knew that I had to, I knew that I walked this path for a reason. I knew that, you know, we are all faced with obstacles and they're put there for a reason. Our challenges help to ignite our purpose. And so I was really just 
rising to my occasion because I knew that I had to do that. And it really felt out of integrity to stay. I felt like I was part of the problem because our medical system is filled with so many well-intentioned people, but the machine is broken. It is so, so very broken. And we cannot solve the issues of chronic disease in an acute care system. We just can't. There's no pill. There's no procedure. There's no anything that is going to solve chronic disease. Chronic disease is not solved in a hospital. It's not solved in a doctor's office. Health happens at home. It's unavoidable. And we need to teach people how to live their life every day if they're, if they're going to be healthy. Mm-hmm. So you were talking about five easy shifts you can use to live your life every day. What are those five? Yeah. So um, I start with like what you put in your body really matters. And one of the things that we need to be really conscious about what we're putting in our body is the water that we're drinking. Yes. So drinking filtered water is a huge shift for people because the second you can cut down on the amount of toxins going in and water is such a huge source of them, you change the playing field, you change your health. So I always start with drink filtered water. The second thing that I talk to people about is prioritizing sleep. We are a society that values awake and truthfully, it has led us to depression, disease, everything. So we need to start to value sleep because sleep is where the healing happens. And if you're not sleeping, you're not healing, you're not detoxifying, and you are just accumulating that inflammation that leads to disease. So we have to, have to, have to prioritize sleep. Uh, We have to move every day and everyone has to find out what it is that makes them feel good, that makes them joyful, that gets their endorphins going and just adopt that every day. Every single day we have to move. Like sitting is the new smoking, 100% for sure. We know that it's such a pro-inflammatory state. So you have to move. Um, Deplasticizing your life in as much as you can will benefit you for miles and miles. Because when you deplasticize your life, not only do you cut down on your plastic ingestion, but you also cut down on a lot of other chemicals and things that are unnecessary. Because there are so many things that come in plastic bottles that you probably don't need. So I have gone from using like a zillion products to using about five right? And so it really cuts down on the amount of chemical burden that you take on. And then the fifth thing, which is probably the most important thing, is to live with purpose. We were all put on this earth by God for a purpose. And the purpose doesn't have to be to change the world. The purpose can be whatever your purpose is. You know, some people are great shirt folders and that is your purpose. So fold shirts with love and integrity. Some people were put on this earth to be bricklayers. So lay bricks with with love and intention. It doesn't matter what your purpose is. Just find it and live in integrity. Yeah, I love how that how you include that as one. And as I coach more and more practitioners, they always want to help everybody. And I'm like, no, look, who is the person that you want to help? What's your story? And just like you said, when you talk about your Graves disease, no one talks about Graves. They always talk about Hashimoto's. So then you get the Graves people like, oh my gosh, she understands and she gets me. So she flocks to you. They flock to you. The breast cancer patient flocks to you. I have the practitioners who need help with their business or need a way out of their brick and mortar and into the virtual world. They flock to me. It's my passion. I can sell it. I can get on a workshop and do my thing and and be all excited about. So what is it that gets you excited? Yeah. So I love public speaking. 
it's honestly you're good like at it. where yeah, I, I come see you're very good at thank it. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I always say like, give me a room full of 500 people and a microphone and I am jamming. Like that is my jam. Make me talk to someone one-on-one and I'm like, oh, I'm so bad at small talk, what should <laughs> I ask? <laughs> but like what I love to do is to educate in a way that's really engaging, to tell people stories that are going to resonate with them and to have them walk away from whatever that experience was, a better person for it and with something that can enrich their lives. Yeah. I'm hosting, speaking of public speaking, I'm hosting a huge event in February. So probably right after this comes out in the spring, it, we have just hosted it. But I, I love, the more I do it, the more I love it too, because it's just that. You get to get on stage and you get to share your story. You get to share your beliefs and what you've learned in order to change someone else's lives and in, in order to empower yeah. them. And my, I, I cringe when I see practitioners who are brilliant functional medicine providers providers who are brilliant at what they do. They just really struggle with the business and the marketing. So I'm like, I just, I want to make your life easier. I want, I want to be the light where if I can work 25 hours a week and scale, you can work 25 hours a week and scale. It's not like we have to trade out our time for money anymore and only work with people one-on-one. There's so many more doors. So I mean, I could go on, as you can tell, I found my purpose, you know, where you can just, you can just talk about things forever. So what, I mean, Dr. Jen walked away from a cancer surgery to private practice. So whatever you want to do, you can do it. You just have to have the courage to do it. That's right. We can all do hard things. We can all do hard things. And when you do the hard things, the reason why you can do them is because you're going to change someone else's life because of it. Mm-hmm. Now you're For changing sure. before people even get to the cancer, to the surgeon's table, you're changing their lives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. And, and even for those people that have gotten that far, right? Even for people who have gotten a diagnosis, I want to, I want those people to know that there is hope well beyond what they have been told, and that we have so much more power than we think or know. We have so much more power. Yeah. So Dr. Mark Hyman gets on the stage, the room you're in, and it was like magic after that. Uh, Absolutely. I was so, I mean, like he lit me up. He just lit me up. He ignited something in me that probably after 20 years of surgery had started to dull, right? Because we do, we do start to get complacent in our space and uh, we do take for granted the impact that we have. And uh, I know, you know, when you get a diagnosis that is life-threatening, you, it's so easy to say, like, why me? And to feel like you're being punished and all of that. Um, and it's not that easy to reframe it into opportunity, but it's those that reframe it into opportunity that come out on the other side enriched beyond belief. And that's what happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. I could have never imagined how rich my life would be. And it just is. You, you can see it's it on your face. It just so makes me so happy. I would, have, I would love to see like a picture of you back in doing the cancer surgery versus a picture of you now, because I'm sure there's a way different so way light different. coming from those pictures. Yeah. Yeah, for All sure. right, y'all, if for you're listening sure. and you got diagnosis, you're scared of getting a di- diagnosis, you haven't got a diagnosis, yet you feel like crap, doesn't matter where you are in your journey, you can overcome it. And Dr. Jen is here to help. So Dr. Jen, where can they find you? Yeah, so you can go to my website at realhealthmd.com. Uh, and you can follow me on Instagram at Dr. Jen Simmons, and I have two N's in my name, uh, or Facebook Uh, I have a YouTube channel. I put lots and lots and lots of content out there. And if you are struggling, if you need to know, if you need a guide for your journey, 
I have so many resources for you. So start with her website, realhealthmd.com. Go join her Instagram. And if you're not on Instagram, go join her YouTube. We could probably talk for hours, you and I, but we're going to, we're going to end it right now. I'm 100% certain hours. (laughs) Thanks, Dr. Jen. My pleasure. So great to be here with you today. The health coaching certification program that I recommend is Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, or FDN. You can get started anytime. So grab the $250 off code from the show notes and go to fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie and get started. Don't wait any longer. Make 2023 your year. Do this for you, your family, and for those you're about to help. fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie. Ready to have all of your blood work compiled in one location where you can easily read it all together? Well, go grab my book, Why Are My Labs Normal? on Amazon. Grab it, learn how to read your own labs, and take the power back in your hands because your normal blood work is loaded with answers. You just got to have the right person reading it, and the right person can be you. Go grab it on Amazon, Why Are My Labs Normal? by Dr. Kylie Burton. Leave a review, and we'll see you on the next episode.